Hello, good morning, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. And welcome to what is going to be a weird little random ramble, catch up, whatever you want to call it. Something just around the name of the stadium which has come up. Uh, this will be the third time now I've tried to film this. Bloody scam phone calls! Can't stand the buggers that do that, but hey, yeah, besides the point. Anyway, so Talal, I think he's the chairman for Wigan Athletic, has put out that uh, Europa Point Investment Corporation, or EPIC, has won the naming rights to the stadium and they want to ask us, the loyal fan base, what we think of the ideas of the names. Now the three things that are in there is the Epic Arena, the Epic Stadium and other suggestions. Now straight away for me being a bit of a gamer stuff, anytime anyone says Epic it's either Epic Fail or eh, 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 Fortnite. But no, 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 it's not Epic Games. I know it's not Epic Games, but it's just that giggle of the eh, eh, Fortnite. You know, but whatever. To be honest, the name doesn't really bother me because it's just a name. Because that place has never really had a historic name, has it? It's always been either the JJB or the DW. And for the time that Attics were in Europe for a few games, it was the Wigan Athletic Stadium, I believe. Or it might have been the Wigan Athletic Community Stadium or whatever they called it at that time. But, you know, a name doesn't hold an attachment to me. I'm probably still going to call it the DW or the JJB once in a while. You know, whatever the name is to me, it doesn't really matter in there. It's just, it's it's the stadium. It's, you know, the place where I go to watch it and the moment that I scan my ticket, my brain comes out and stuck in a pickle jar and I'm in there watching whatever it is, whether it's football or rugby. So it doesn't bother me too much what the name is. To some people, yeah, the name might be there. And obviously there's going to be some people that are going to be, Can we have Springfield Park, please? It's like, all well and good, but sometimes the old names don't quite work if it's not in the area that it's, it's not really at Springfield anymore, is it? I know it's kind of close, but it's not really Springfield. It's the same with the city wanting to turn the Etihad into Main Road again. I don't know. Just my personal opinion, I don't know. I don't know if sticking an older name on a new stadium that isn't in the location of the old stadium is a good idea. I don't know. But, by the by, but then again, just looking at it on a rugby point, if, you know, if St. Helens can have the totally wicked stadium, then why can't we can have the epic stadium or the epic, you know, epic whatever they want to call it, an epic park or something, you know, whatever. It just put it out there, why can't we just do that if they could have the name of the vaping company, you know, one of those which is totally wicked, it's like, totally wicked, which to be honest, I haven't been in there so I don't know, but just, eh, to some people yeah that might be a bit of a piss taker to go on, but I don't know, a name to me doesn't really matter, it's just a company, it's a corporate thing most of the new stadiums that were built from the mid 90s onwards are just to be honest soulless bowls unless they've had billions of pounds spent on them Tottenham for instance that place looks like a friggin spaceship in comparison to something which was kind of just a modular design which was slapped together because it was cost effective it's sterile you know, if anyone asks my opinion on what colour the seats were, should be purple. I'll end the argument because it's blue and blue and red together. Purple. So make it purple. Purple, purple pies. Purple pies. Well, I don't really care about the seat colours. I've not been that bothered because I don't have an attachment to seat colours. To me, a seat in that stadium is just where you go and put your ass down with your brain in the pickle jar and you watch whatever's on the field whether it be good, bad or indifferent throw your support in there and off you go it don't really matter to me a seat is a seat the colour of the seat don't matter I've been sat, I've sat on the blue ones I've sat on the red ones I've sat on the white ones I've sat on the black lightning ones you know I've sat on a broken one I've sat on one which was a little bit dodgy I've sat on one which don't pop up 
I've sat on all sorts of seats in there. Yeah, seats in there can be hit and miss. Some of them are sun bleached. Some of them are rusty. Some of them are all right. Some of them are slow to move up and down. Some of them are a little bit grubby. Some of them are, com some of them are comfy. Some of them make you get piss wet through when it rains. A seat is a seat is a seat is a seat is a seat. Unless you're in the corporate. It's gushy. But, hey, that's besides the point. I don't care about the seats, really. But the names in there, you know, there's obviously going to be kind of, you know, I'm sorry if I'm not looking at you, I'm looking at some of the tweets. <clears throat> I know someone, a few people have said kind of like, well, why not Phoenix Park? You know, stuff like that. Or, you know, the like Epic Park, you know. Yeah, it moves away from the form and um, the ground and stadium, but gives a nod to a spiritual home of Springfield Park. Yeah, because you've still got park in there. It's a bit of a thing there. Plus, because you've got the Springfield stand. It's just a bit of a, a, a nod in there. You know, the just a bit of an argument to some of the stuff that some people have been going on about with the names as well. You want to have a some people who are moaning about certain little things and stuff it's kind of just for instance some sponsorships and stuff like that so etihad etihad as far as i'm aware means united so city manchester city are playing in the united stadium Just that's just as far as I'm aware. If it's wrong, then pick me up on that and do that. But as far as I am aware, from little bits that I have noticed and stuff like that, little bits of research that I did, <coughs> this is the problem with your long hair, and you live in a house which is full of dust. In this is a new build, it's still dusty. But hey, um, as far as I'm aware, Etihad means United. It's part of like the United Arab Emirates, just to look at, you know. It's one of their things and part of their colour scheme for their corporate identity is Royal Red. So... There's a lot of gold in there as well, obviously, because a lot of the... A lot of the national and state colours of the Arab nations have a lot of gold or at least a lot of filigree type colours in there. So you'll have your like your gold, your coppers, your brass, your silvers, you know, your, your platinum like colours and things like that. There will be colours in there because that's just a natural way that those colours have been for centuries. It's just how those colours have been. It's like with the British Royal you've got like, you know, you've got your Royal Reds, you've got then you 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 know, you've got your Royal blues and everything like that and everything in there and they also have the, the golds the golds the silvers the coppers you know the the brass like colors it just seems to work with the filigree type colors that's how they go but that's by the by but rolling in for names and stuff like that you know you can have nods to like the older places and stuff like that and people who are just saying yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's all it's all well and good but because the you know the Europe Europe Park Investment Com Corporation. If you had that like that as a big one, that would be quite a mouthful. So epic, dropping it down, it's quite fun. Plus, it is on the shirts, so that kind of lends itself to that as well. Plus, you know, it's not like some of them where it's like you know the blah 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 stadium. It's like you know an entire pigging paragraph long. You know. Condenses it. It, it, it rolls off the tongue, you know, just epic park, epic stadium, epic arena, whatever you want to call it. You know, some people, yeah, all right, I know I've heard it on some comms and stuff like that sometimes. I think with rugby and sometimes with the football when one or two of them are taking the piss out of it. It's like, ah, we're good to it It just seems to be one of the things that just rolls off, you know. It might just be kind of, you know, to have a bit of a, a poke at fun of stuff. You know, I've seen it somewhere. It's kind of like mixed in with all the hundreds of them. Well, it's like, why don't you call it the Pie Dome? Pie Dome, sponsored by Epic, and then have it in brackets. Europa, Europa Point Investment Corporation. Pie Dome, yeah. 
I keep wanting to say Europa Park, but I know we're not I know we're not owned or sponsored by Mac. Mac rides. So yeah, Europa Park. Yeah, that is um, a theme park out in Germany. And I, if I slip up and say Europa Park, sorry, but that's just um, part of my brain right now. Because I want to get back to some roller coasters. I want to go back to Blackpool, but I have to wait a little while. Oh, I've got a bit of tea there. Anyway, but you know, I don't really, I don't know, I don't mind, but you know, if you want to have a suggestion, you've got a little bit longer to go on your suggestions. You know, it's not quite, you've got five hours left to put your suggestions in for what you want the place to be called. If you have any opinions on it, you can always stick them in, in there. Just go on Twitter and look up Talal Al Hamad. Bit of him. <laughs> if I can remember, I'll stick it in the um, in the description. Eh? If I can remember where to put it, I might put it in that. But hey, my views is I don't really mind what the name is, and if anyone ever asks me about what colours the, the seat should be, I'm just going to say purple, just because it ends up for arguments. I don't really mind either way, but. Just to make y'all aware that that is going on. Uh, so that will be me out. Peace!